Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to TFI CAD Tips. I have some breaking news to bring you. Some news has just dropped today from the world of Autodesk and their licensing development. So recently I did a video on the changes to the Autodesk licensing system that they're bringing in a subscription model and they're phasing out perpetual licenses. So those licenses that you buy and you keep forever are kind of going and they're moving to a more Adobe type, Netflix type monthly subscription or annual subscription model. So that's still going ahead, but... Today, some news has been announced that Autodesk are releasing collections, what, are they, what they're calling industry collections. So there's going to be three industry collections. One of them is going to be called the Architecture Construction Collection, so words to that effect. The second one is what we're interested in, which is the Product Design Collection. And then the third one is Media and Entertainment Collection. So these collections are essentially replacing the what we knew of them previously, the suites. So as of today, you would buy product design suite, you would buy building creation or building design suite, you've got media and entertainment suite, and all the other suites, which are just essentially a collection of products that you would buy for one price, quite a big price, and then you'd have that suite of products to download and install freely. Essentially what the collections are, they're just rebranding the suite, they're rebranding the suite into something different, and then they're just approaching them slightly differently with different terms and conditions around them. Uh, but on face value, on face value, I'm not going to go through all the details, but on face value, these look like they are good, like a good deal, really, really good deal. So, for example, product design collection. At the moment, product design suite is about 3,000 English pounds to buy or subscribe to for the year. Product design collection is only going to be 2,000 pounds to subscribe to for the year. What, only two? Oh, is this, is, this, is this guy for real? Only two grand a year. Yeah, but if you're a business... You're getting 3D CAD, you're getting 2D CAD, you're getting some visualization software in there, you're getting data management, you're getting a full package in there. And you, you're going to be making a lot of money off that package over the course of a year. So I think two grand over a year is not too bad. I'm not going to get into the argument of how rental is a good or a bad thing. It's for a different day. But I think two grand for license subscription over a year for what you get in 3D CAD is pretty good. So... The other benefits of product design collection is that they are amalgamating factory design and product design now into one collection. At the moment, you would have to buy, if you want to do shop floor layouts and you want to use the factory design assets, you would have had to bought factory design suite and product design suite. <laughs> that, was, that was expensive. That You want to talk about expensive? Look at the price of factory design suite to buy. That was expensive. But they're amalgamating both of those into one collection, which is good. Uh, there's a whole load of frequently asked questions available on the Autodesk website. I'll put that link in this description. Go and check those out. There's a whole load of ifs and buts. If you've got a product design suite license now, perpetual, you can't move over to a collection. Doesn't It's not going to work like that. However, if you've subscribed to product design suite right now on the rental model, you can move over to collection. So there's a whole load of ifs and buts. Based on how long you want to buy a subscription for to one of these collections would be change where you go to buy it from you can buy some different types of subscription models from a reseller or autodesk direct from their e-store so there's a whole there is a whole lot of ifs and buts there they're still offering network licenses so if you want to share a license around an office you can still do that with these new collections which are available for i can't remember if i'll actually mention this but they're available from first of august so it's not happening right now you've got a bit of time to get ready for this and decide what you want to do so first of august this is all happening the news was just announced or released to the public today um, so you've got a bit of time to decide what you want to do. But overall, I think these look like good value. Now, from off the suite that we're interested in, the one that has Inventor, Product Design Collection, there is some downsides to this over the suites. Firstly, the absence of showcase. For some reason, Autodesk have decided to exclude Autodesk showcase from the product design collection. By the looks of it, it's not included in any of the collections. So if you're a showcase user, what they're saying in the small print of the collections is that if you buy a collection and there's a product there that you've been using in the past or that you decide that you need to use, you can subscribe to that product separately. And individual product subscriptions are relatively inexpensive over a year or over a couple of months. So you buy your collection, you think, oh, well, I need Showcase or I need whatever, some simu some specialized simulation software. You can buy your collection and then you can subscribe to that other product separately. So that's what Autodesk is su suggesting. So Showcase is missing from the product design collection. Other programs that were in product design suite but aren't in the collection include Alias. So the Alias surface and package was in product design suite. That's now missing from uh, the product design collection. And also Navisworks, I think Simulate is missing from the collection. One of the two. In product design suite, you'd have Simulate, Navisworks, Simulate, and Manage. 
one of those is missing from the collection. I think it's Simulate, but don't quote me on that. Uh, but either way, you're still getting most of the other programs that you would have had with Suite. Fusion 360 is in there. All the cloud services are in there. Recap. Um, yeah, cloud rendering, A360 renderings, all there included in the collection. So you're still getting quite a lot in there. You're getting a lot more value overall. If you look at it as a package, and, uh, as a total package, you're getting a lot more value for money than you would do with a suite. So, yeah, that's happening on the 1st of August. Just thought I'd bring that news. Uh, if, you're, so if, if you're someone that buys your licenses legit, then it looks like it's going to be good value. If you're buying, <laughs> buying hooky copy, you can't buy a hooky copy. That sort of defies the point. But if you've got a hooky copy, then there's probably no interest to you whatsoever. If you're a student, then the, the collections are not going to be available to you. But that's not important because as a student, you've got free access to all of the programs in the suite anyway. So Inventor, AutoCAD, Factory Design Suite. As a student, you can go and get those anyway with your educational entitlement. So it doesn't matter that you can't get it all as one bundle. You can just go and grab them individually anyway. Another bonus as well of having these collections is that you don't have to download one big zip file. Or as it was split into, I think, six or seven zip files. With the collections, you can just log into your Autodesk account and then you can download individual programs from the collections separately so you don't have to go for one big massive whop and download, which was an absolute killer on people's internet connections and internet caps and data caps, you know, data allowances, that sort of thing. So that's going to be a bonus as well. So I think that's pretty much it. Thought I'd bring you the news. This isn't going to be relevant in six or 12 months' time, but the channel is a little bit dry at the moment. There's not a lot going on. That's because I'm working on something for the Autodesk website video, which will end up on this channel anyway. That's going to be coming out soon. I'm also working on a giveaway for a 3D Connection Space Pilot Pro. Again, I guess it's not going to be not a Space Pilot, a, 3, a Space Mouse Pro. I'm going to be giving my Space Mouse Pro away. So <laughs> again, that's not going to be relevant in six or 12 months' time. But stay tuned because I will be doing a giveaway at some point in the near future. So thanks very much, guys. If you like this, do slap a like on it. Uh, subscribe, get subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you in the next video. Doodles.